Hello everybody, my name is Davis and welcome back to our video and recently I did a video on this channel where I said my top 5 players that I think are most likely to win the new life series called Secret Life and uh, today I'm going to be giving you my top 5 players who I think are most likely to get out first of the series, okay? So if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe and let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, now in the number five spot, I'm going to go with Zombie Cleo. Uh, now, as she was actually on my list for top five players most likely to win the series, but after episode two, it's kind of evident that it's gone downhill for her a little bit, okay? So last episode, she ended off with a really good heart total, and uh, now she is at ten hearts, okay? That's not great out of the rest of the players in the game. And overall, it just kind of went downhill a little bit, you know? It just wasn't the best performance that I think we've ever seen from her, and uh, the first episode, I was like, yeah, it's obvious she's been training for this for a while, but now it's, like, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, but it's not looking like that, okay? I think that she's probably in my number five spot now for least likely to win or most likely to get out first of Secret Life. Now, in the number four spot, I'm going to go with In the Little Wood, okay? Now, he started off decent, but not as good as he usually does. In this episode, he is the only player to have died, and is now the only player on Yellow Life. And being on Yellow Life on episode two is not necessarily a good situation. So, I'm just thinking that it's not looking too great for Martin, because even after he died, he already lost four hearts on his Yellow Life already. So, I think that it's going to be a decent chance that he could get out pretty quickly. So, unfortunately, Martin's going at this number four spot. Normally, I put him much higher up on the list, but uh, it's seeming like this season, he's making some reckless mistakes. Now, in the number three spot, I'm going to go with Good Time with Scar. Now, here's why, okay? He's made quite a few enemies already on the server, including in the Little Wood that is already at a yellow life, so he's very close to being red. And uh, once all of his enemies turn red, they're going to kind of hunt him down. And uh, this is usually how it starts off with Scar. He starts off really well, you know, doing his sneaky trades, his uh, uh, good uh, business idea. And then uh, he pretty much just falls off pretty quickly from there. Most seasons, he gets out close to the beginning, unfortunately. I will say in third life he did get second place which is pretty impressive but he was kind of carried by Grian and he did get to red pretty early anyway but uh, it is pretty impressive that he's still on 25.5 hearts but I think that once once again his enemies once they turn red I think it's going to be all over for him. Now, in the number two spot, I'm going to go with LD Shadow Lady, just because uh, they haven't really done anything that impressive this far, and is only on 9.5 hearts left, which is one of the lower ones on the server, okay? They've only ever played in one other season, and they didn't overperform in Last Life, which is the season that she played in. I'll just say that much. She didn't do uh, insanely well, and uh, it's just looking like it's going to be a similar turnout this time around, uh, unfortunately, okay? I think she's a great character, but uh, overall, I don't think it's going to work out too well. Now, I hate to do this, because this is one of my favorite players on the server, but in the number one spot, I'm going to put Solidarity Gaming. Reason number one, they're on 1.5 hearts, which is the second lowest on the server, right behind in the Little Wood, okay? Number two, they don't show any over-experience at the game. Uh, I'm not trying to be rude, but uh, it's just not that great, honestly. And number three, I think this reason is going to be pretty obvious. He has gotten out every single time first, okay? He's got now, he's been the first death in every season, and he dies uh, way earlier than anybody else does, too. Okay, like, uh, like there's a good gap between the first death and the second death, and the first death is always him, unfortunately. I hope that he can break the bond this season, break the, uh, the curse, but I don't think it's gonna happen, honestly. But, uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will do more like this in the future. Peace.